Hello and welcome to the Pig and Whistle Tales from Azeroth. As always here at the Pig and Whistle Inn in Stormwind, I go for a variety of subjects with regards to World of Warcraft. I grab a bottle or a pint, sit back and enjoy. This episode will be going over BlizzCon as BlizzCon is currently going on right now, depending on when you're listening to this actually. It is the day of BlizzCon um, when this episode goes live, so it makes sense to uh, go over it essentially. We're going to be going over the main aspects of it. 10.3, potentially, the expansion, the WoW expansion that is 99.9% going to be revealed at BlizzCon today. Um, Classic Plus, Cata Classic, Wrath Plus, you know, many different things to look forward to today. And the announcements and trailers and shit will all be coming out today. Um, as I think most of the other stuff is set for tomorrow, like um, the Guild Clash, the arenas, um, stuff like that for World of Warcraft. But we have the weekly news, as always. Basil and the Zakali Elders are your weekly world bosses for the week. Pet battles and world quest bonus events are your... Or world quest, yeah, bonus events are the events that happening this week. You get more reputation with the world quests and more XP via pet battles i do want to say i am still a little bit i'm I'm not fully 100 percent um since last episode so if i do um start dying mid come or mid episode you'll you'll understand why um packed house is your brawl for the week essentially this is a 15 versus 15 in an arena setting and it is first to like kill the enemy team essentially wins Storming, Bursting and Fortified are your mythic affixes for the week. Storming, it spawns at very small vortexes, these little whirlwinds, essentially just move away from them. Bursting, when you kill a mob, it will do a burst of damage and put a dot on you. You simply want to kill everything immediately and use a defensive to uh, help uh, uh, deal with the dot on you. Or you want to kill them in bursts. So five mobs at stop, let the debuff uh, fall off and then kill the rest of the mobs, etc. Fortified, the non-boss enemies have more health and deal more damage. So bring a talent build for that. Now, BlizzCon, everything I think WoW-wise is going to be said around about, well, half eight my time. I think it's one... um, on the like uh, where essentially blizzcon has taken place which is anaheim convention um center i think it's there so i think that's west coast if i'm not mistaken where blizzcon usually takes place in america mm. so it's around 1 um 30 p.m uh, west coast i'm not too sure what the actual um time zones are for west coast and east coast all i know is west coast east coast um but yeah it's essentially halfway through the blizzcon sort of start so what i'm expecting them to lead off with is obviously retail because retail is their main product retail is world of warcraft world of warcraft um classic and uh, you know wrath uh, hardcore all stemmed from retail and uh, I'm pretty sure this is what they are kicking off with. Now, my um, first uh, iteration or first thing that they're going to reveal is if there's going to be a 10.3. I do believe that there will be a 10.3. Usually they have it um, beginning quarter of uh, the year um, or the 2024 year, my guess would be probably around like april they release it something like that um it'll be around that and then you usually have so we're currently going to be having 10.2 at on the 7th of november and then we have 10.2.5 10.3 and then 10.3.5 and then we go into the next expansion so this kind of lines up with april release and then you get 10. 3.5 3.5 around you know july uh august time and then you get the release of the new expansion a lot of people are wondering what the new expansion will be my honest opinion it'll be something to do with the void um it'll be something to do with a little bit of the cosmic elements i would say 
I would say they still keep it within World of Warcraft, like the world itself, like Azeroth. So you deal with the Eastern Kingdoms, Kalimdor, etc. But I think it will be a sort of invasion on the world itself by the likes of Iridicron, who pissed off essentially uh, uh, in Dragonflight, a little bit earlier on in Dragonflight. And you have stuff like, um, what's her name? Zalatath, that we all potentially think is her. Um, that Aridicron met up with, you know, that kind of deal. I, I think it will be a lot of that um, happening. I don't think we'll have a massive, you know, sort of cosmos battle um, anytime soon because we recently just came back from Shadowlands and it wasn't great. You kind of want to stick to your roots, um, as it were. And I think that's why they'll keep to Azeroth as a whole. And they might even explore the back end of Azeroth because essentially around the back of the planet, there is nothing. And uh, they have so much unused uh, like land or like filler potential there, um, essentially, in my honest opinion. So a void um, kind of themed thing is what I'm going to go for. I know Battle for Azeroth kind of had some as well, um, but I think it will be nice to reintroduce Anduin into the story via that kind of um, story arc because, you know, the whole light and void um, arc is going to be what he revolves around. So it's a good way to reintroduce him into it. And you got, you know, Turali and stuff like Illyria um, that you got to deal with as well. So that's my honest opinion. I think it will be a lot of void stuff. Plus you got Velen, actually. Velen just has been sitting around doing nothing. He needs stuff to do, doesn't he? So, yeah, that, that's my honest opinion. We will see a trailer for it. Today, when uh, it is released, we will be seeing a trailer for the new expansion. They do it every time, and I'm like 80 to 90% sure that there will be a trailer. If I'm not, I'll be very disappointed. Um, but I would imagine that a new trailer is out very, very soon. Or at least they'll have a lot of the um, sort of core mechanics of... Um, what do you call it? The expansion, um, ready to reveal to the public essentially by today and later on. Now, we also have the classics we have Wrath of the Lich King and we have Classic Era. Now, these two things will go in two separate directions. Wrath Classic will follow World of Warcraft's, um, what is it, Journey, and just go through every expansion. Because I have said this before, people have not experienced the expansions. And these expansions did bring in a lot of the quality of life changes that we know today in retail, such as Transmog, such as, honestly, Missa Pandaria had reforging on gear. That was one of the best, like, things in the game. And people never got to experience it, which I don't understand why they took it out. Because if you want to go full haste, sure, go for it. If you want to go full mastery, sure, go for it. Full crit, go for it. Knock yourself out. Um, I, I really do not understand why they took that out of the game, by the way. I think they took it out in Warlords of Draenor, and it was only in Mr. Pandaria, but I thought it was a very good idea. I I did think... Actually, no, it might have been in Cataclysm. But I, I think Wrath of the Lich King will go into Cataclysm. And the reason being that it will just follow through all of the expansions. Because people haven't had the opportunity to go through these expansions. They are very old. They are actually a very... <sighs> this game is old. This game is very old. I looked back on it. Um... Wrath of the Lich King ended sort of 2009, 2010. Cataclysm came out in 2010. That's 13, nearly 14 years ago. Then you have Missa Pandaria um, that came out in 2012. All of the Draenor, 2014. Legion, one of the best expansions people deem it as, came out in 2016. That's seven years ago. How crazy is that? I, I thought it was only a few years ago. I swear to God, it was only three odd years ago that Legion came out and that I was, you know, doing my artifact weapons and stuff. No, it's seven. It's 
going to be eight years old in a couple months. How crazy is that? Like, so many people have not experienced WoW expansions, and I think it's really cool to actually go through them all again. To see... I, I was a little bit too young to experience Burning Crusade and Wrath of the Lich King fully. I do not remember Cataclysm a lot. I remember... The only thing I remember is a dungeon that was uh, uh, in Blackrock Mountain where you had the ogre boss, you had the boss that had the two adds with it, and then you had this fire boss that you had to put into the molten lava. You had Beauty or something, the boss called Beauty. It was a giant core hound, and then this like ethereal dude. That, that's the only sort of dungeon I remember. I don't remember much else. Oh, this Lost City of Tolvir, I remember as well. That was a weird one. There were so many skips. Um, but I don't actually remember the expansion. I don't remember many of the core um, fundamentals of it. I don't remember what it changed. I remember the talents got a little bit of a revamp. I remember uh, classes got stuff like Holy Power or Paladins. I remember the like little... Uh, what is it? What would you call it? Slider underneath for Boomkins. That's kind of all I remember. I don't remember many finer details to Cataclysm. So going through all of these will be really, really cool. And I think an experience that everyone should get. I get that some people will want Wrath Classic forever. And it is a good expansion. But if you stay in it forever, it loses that nostalgic feeling. It loses that kind of... This is one of the best expansions. It's more like, oh my god, we're still stuck in Wrath of the Lich King. And it will just slowly die because there's no nothing to do in it. There's nothing to do unless they do a Wrath Plus. But I highly doubt that. I think that they're going to leave the sandbox mode for Classic Era. Now, sandbox mode, what do I mean by that? I would, I, I kind of mean they add more raids or other things from later on, like Cataclysm or certain raids, to Classic. Now, I don't know how they'll go about gearing certain things. Maybe they just won't allow world buffs in these specific raids. They just, whenever you zone into the instance, world buffs are turned off. Maybe they do a bit more, like, high intense um, mechanics for um, the raids, something like that, because... The mechanics in Classic are quite simple, I'm not going to lie. It is kick a Frostbolt, stay with, stay 10 yards range, and CC mind control targets. You know, that, some very simple things, <laughs> to say the least. So, I'm hoping that they do a bit more mechanically intensive fights in Classic, um, but they don't go crazy with the gear. They, they kind of keep it very the same, and, you know, everything has their niche. Maybe they have to do, like a mage tank boss or something because warlocks tanked a boss in uh, Uncarage. why can't mages do it or why can't rogues tank it you know you have to hit every five melee attacks um you actually hit the boss maybe something like that so i don't know it, it it's it's going to be weird to see a classic plus and i'm very curious as to how they're going to go about it whether it's releasing new content for it but staying in classic or if it's going to be like um they just release new raids essentially every few months something like that it doesn't need to be like amazing raids can just be another molten core or something like that or a new legendary weapon who knows they might release old content that was cut in classic so maybe like the old version of the Emerald Dream, maybe something like that. Maybe they look at something like Gilligan's Island, Gilligan's Island, Gilli Gilligan. It, it was something Gilligan's Island, something along them lines, where it was more like troll-like islands in the south and it down near Booty Bay. Maybe they release stuff like Colterus, you know, something from like Warcraft Three, something like that, and just do it differently. They have only one massive zone. Um, you, you know, who knows? Um, they could essentially release, like, Zaldazar as well, like Zandalari, because you have the Zandalar like, island, and you put the boat there. Who knows? There could be many different things that they do in World of Warcraft, but... Or, what for Raph, like, classic, I think that they'll go about the route of adding new raids 
And I think new raids will be very important to see because the raids that we've had in Classic and Wrath Classic obviously are older raids. We we know them, we've seen them, they've been out for teens of years now, so it's no new content. But to get a Classic Guild to go into a fresh raid that no one's ever done with revamped mechanics, stuff like that, then it might actually be a little bit of a challenge for certain people. But because people know everything, it's very much, yep, we walk in and we clear it in 30 minutes. Nice and easy. Well done all. GG's. That's the race to world first. They might release uh, heroic versions of uh, uh, classic raids. I'd be very intrigued to see that. Kind of like how they do with um, Ice Crown Citadel. Something like that. Um, you know, they might do many different things. I think the Dungeon Plus aspect should be introduced to Classic. Because uh, imagine doing Strathholm Plus. Like the Gamma Dungeons. The Alpha, Beta and Gamma Dungeons that they've done for Wrath the Lich King. I think those have been amazing. The Alpha versions were shit. I do have to admit that. No one ever did them. Because the actual... um affixes that they had were very obnoxious but the affixes that they bought for the beta dungeons and the gamma dungeons they have made the dungeons enjoyable again they're actually fun to run now you might need to find a group for them if you're doing classic plus um or they add a simple looking for group system a very simple one kind of the one that we had in the earlier stages of Wrath of the Lich King Classic, where you just sign your group up and essentially you can message people to join, like looking for healer, looking for tank, that kind of deal. Not the automated one, you know, the one that we had before. Maybe something like that. Maybe they add some um, quality of life stuff to Classic Plus. Maybe they add a transmog thing for the very simple gears, um, the amount of gear that they have in Classic. Maybe they just do something like that, but... Maybe that's the charm as well with Classic Plus. You just have a lot of uh, wacky looking people. You know, you have like level 10 shoulders or something. Not even level 10 shoulders, like level 22 shoulders. And you have like a level 60 helm. You know, this bucket helm that looks really cool. And you might have some like really small shitty cloth shoulders. Who knows? And that's the charm of Classic. It's one of them things. I think that that's how they'll go about Classic Plus, though. They'll introduce new raids, potentially, and uh, a slight, you know, change on certain classes and specs. I think that they'll change Retribution Paladins. Um, if, uh, you know, anything's going to get changed, it would be the likes of Retribution Paladin. Maybe give them an actual DPS rotation. They might fill out, like, different specs, actually. They might actually fill out different specs and make it useful and uh, so that you're not just pressing one spell, like Frost Mage, it's just um, Frost Bolt. Warlocks, Shadow Bolt. Put your curse up, press Shadow Bolt. Nice and easy, but no. I, I would like to see them tweak the classes slightly, very slightly. Not a lot. Barely a lot, to be honest. I would like more gameplay than just press Frostbolt. Some people enjoy that, but I think for the game to actually have some enjoyment, potential, I could just be talking about my out my arse here, but to have some enjoyment in that game and for people to go back to it, you would need some sort of rotation, like a DPS rotation rather than just Frostbolt spam, you know, that kind of deal. But that is it for this episode. Thank you all very much for listening. I'm sorry it's a bit of a shorter one, but my throat is absolutely killing me, so I do have to go. Um, With regards to it, BlizzCon is uh, um today, as of this episode, releasing. I really hope you see what you want to see from BlizzCon. I hope, no matter what, everyone can understand that we're very lucky to have even three World of Warcrafts and uh, hopefully that they can keep doing the good work that they are with uh, leading on from Dragonflight, leading on from Wrath of the Lich King Classic, and leading on from World of Warcraft Hardcore's recent release. We all hope that they can keep going on and doing something very good um, going forward. 
I hope you get everything that you want in uh, the BlizzCon announcements. And I will catch you all later. Thank you all very much for listening. And go with Valor, friend. Goodbye, all. <laughs>